Hello guys, once again we meet on this purple video uh, in which we're going to discuss the English articles, the N and A. Uh, so please, uh, please guys, before we begin our lesson, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like these videos and share it with your friends or via Facebook so you can reach out to another uh, very important videos that we are going to upload through during this period. So guys, let's begin our course together. What are the articles? Articles are words that define a noun as specific or unspecific. Donc, les articles en anglais ont une définition de nom et une définition. Et nous avons une spécifique qui nous avons une définition unspecifique. Specific means une chose qui nous avons une définition unspecifique, une chose qui nous avons une définition. Consider the following examples. So here I gave you examples so you can understand what are we going to talk about. After the long day, the cup of tea tasted particularly good. After the long day, the cup of tea tasted particularly good. By using the article the, we've shown that it was one specific day that was long and one specific cup of tea that tasted good. Donc, هنا استعملنا ذا مع حاجة معروفة نحكيو على specific day و specific cup Donc, le cup اللي نحكيو عليه معروف و day اللي نحكيو فيه زيدا معروف Donc, after a long day a cup of tea tastes particularly good By using the article the please guys, I want you to focus on, the, on this We add the definition to the cup So, for example we have a blue cap, a red cap, and a black cap. cap. And I say I want um, the blue cap. When I say the blue cap, it means that I know what I am talking about. And the person who um, I am talking to knows exactly what am I talking about. Okay, guys? So let's uh, go to the next one. After a long day, a cup of tea tastes particularly good. By using the article A, we've created a general statement, implying that any cup of tea would taste good after any long day. Let me start with the article A. So, we're going to talk about something that is not known, something that is unspecific. The cup that we're going to talk about here is not known, it's not known. ما عنديش الكاب ما هوش موجود ما زلت ما بقتوش أما نحكي كونه يمكن بعد ال ال day بعد اليوم الطويل هذيا donc a cup of tea will feel good ينفعنا cup of tea okay guys so the دي ما نستعملوها مع حاجة معرفة a نستعملوها مع حاجة ما يش معرفة ما يش معروفة عن كونه okay let's move on now English has two types of articles definite and indefinite. Donc les articles اللي عنا هما نوعين. Definite و indefinite. Definite معناها حاجة معروفة. Indefinite معناها حاجة ما هيش معروفة. Let's discuss them now in more details. So the definite article. The definite article is the word the. So guys, please focus on this. The definite article is only the article the. It limits the meaning of a noun to one particular thing. For example, your friend might ask, are you going to the party this weekend? The definite article tells you that your friend is referring to a specific party that both of you know about. Are you going to the party this weekend? Donc, اللي لازمنا نفهموه من الجملة هذي كونو انا و صديقي نعرفو اللي فما party this weekend نعرفو اللي فما حفلة في اخر الجمعة وين قاعدة نسأل فيها عليها ايش هو مش للحفلة هيك ولا لا دونك استعملنا كلمة ذا باش نبين اللي اني اللي البارتي اللي نحكي عليها انا وصديقي نعرفوها بالكدب بالكدب نعرفو اللي هي موجودة في the last of the um, the last of the week so in the weekend here the definite article tells you that your friend صديقك is referring to a specific party يحكي على حفلة that both of you know about اللي أنا وياه ديجا نعرفوها دونك the definite article can be used with singular, plural or uncountable nouns 
So below we're going to discuss this further. Donc l'article 2, on a juste un mot mal pluré, on a juste un mot mal singulier. Le mot homme est confirmé. Bad de. Donc on a juste un mot zéda mal uncountable noun. Les noms et les qui fait des ou fait le pluriel, mais zéda homme chez s. Qui mal advice. Advice, on dit advices. On dit pieces of advice. On dit les deux noms qui sont pluriels. Qui mal information. كلمة information كيف تبدا في البلوريال ما نقولوش information نقولو information okay guys so let's go discuss these examples please give me the hammer المطرقة اعطيني المطرقة دونك الشخص اللي قاعدة نحكي معاه باش يمد لي المطرقة يعرف exactly اللي انا نحكي على المطرقة اللي قدامه ولا اللي بحذاه ولا اسافوار بلاصتها وين المهم هو قاعد يشوف فيها بالكدا please give me the red hammer The blue one is too small. وقت اللي استعملت أنا ديجا لي كولور لهنا أنا وال ال 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 المخاطب اللي قاعدة نحكي معاه نعرفه بالقدي اللي فما red hammer مترقة حمراء وفما blue one وفما مترقة زرقاء وين خيرته واخترت the red hammer on the blue one. Okay guys. So please give me the nail. Please give me the large nail. It's the only one strong enough to hold. This painting. So nail, how we put it? We should put it on the painting. We should put it on the painting. We should put it on the painting. So we are going to use the nail. Because it is something well known. We are talking about something outside. And we are talking about something we are going to see in the future. Okay. Let's talk now about the indefinite article. The indefinite article takes two forms. It's the word a. When it precedes or when it precedes a word that begins with a consonant, and it's the word an when it precedes a word that begins with a vowel. B. The indefinite article has two forms. I have two forms. The article a, which is a, and the article an. Okay. So, I do not use the dimension before the noun. It becomes singular. Before the singular noun. ما نستعملوهمش مع ال plural nouns ما نستعملوهم كان مع singular nouns ب ال a دي ما يجي قبل ال no وقت اللي يبدأ الحرف لول متاع ال no هذيك يبدأ consonant consonant for example a boy a boy ال b it's a consonant donc directement نحط قبل ال no متاع ال boy a ok و n نستعملوها مع ال no وقت اللي يبدأ ب voyel when it starts with a vowel For example, an elbow, an arm, an arm, arm. We did with a. A is a vowel. So we put automatically an. Okay. The indefinite article indicates that a noun refers to a general idea rather than a particular thing. Be. We start with a with an. We start with a. 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 في المطلق اللي احنا ما نعرفوهاش وبيان خطرة تمنا في مخاخنا ومانيش قاعدين نشوفو فيها ولا نحسو فيها ولا صفوا دونك جوست قاعدين نحكيو عليها ونعبرو عليها في المطلق الوغ كو ذو نستعملوه كاين مع حاجة نبداو يا نشوفو فيها يا نعرفوها بالكدا يا انا واللي نحكي معاه نفهمو فيها ونعرفوها بالكدا بالكدا اوكي سو ليس باس ناو ذا اندفينيت ارتيكل انديكيتس ذات النون ريفرز تو جنرال ايديا ذان ااا than a particular thing. For example, you might ask your friend, should I bring a gift to the party? نجم نسأل أنا صديق نقول له نجم نجيب نجم نجيب هدية للحفلة Should I bring a gift to the party? يعني ديجا أنا ما زلت ما شريتهيش الجفت وما زلت ما نعرفش نوعية الجفت شنو تكون أما جوست سأل صديقي نجيب كادو أما نجم نقول كيف نجم نقلبها الجملة وقت اللي تبدأ عندي أنا ديجا عندي كادو وقت اللي نبدأ أنا وصاحبي بنحكي مع ديجا نعرف نوعية الكادو هيك شنو نجم نقول should I bring the gift to the party نجم نجيب أكل هدية للبارتي دونك you see guys the difference between the specific and the unspecific okay so these there are some examples here please hand me a book any book will do أي كتاب سوف يكفي. ب. تبقى نحكيه على exception. choose an A or an. فما كلمات يبدأ بفويل. يبدأ بفاول. 
اوكي لازمنا نستعملوا معاهم قبلهم نستعملوا معاهم اي مش ان والا فما العكس فما كلمات يبداو كونسون بكونسوننت وقبلهم لازمنا نحطوا ان مش اي دونك وي غانا سي ويتش كيسز ار غوين تو بوت اي اور ان ويز ا ديفرنت So there are a few exceptions to the general rule of using a before words that start with consonants and n before words that begin with vowels. The first letter of the word honor, for example, is a consonant, but it's unpronounced. In spite of its spelling, the word honor begins with a vowel sound. So, guys, let's take the word honor. Honor it's written with an H at the beginning of a word. And we know that H is a consonant. It's not a vowel. So we're supposed to put A before honor. However, the sound made by the first letter honor, A, honor, A, we do not pronounce the H. We do not say honor. Instead, we say honor. So honor in its pronunciation begins with A. And we know that a or o is a vowel. So before this word, we must put an instead of a. So what I want you to be focused on this time is that an and a follow, follow the pronunciation of words. B. Listen to me, guys. فما كلمات يبدأوا بدي كونسون وكنت قمتيهم باللون. يختفي الكونسون هيك ويتنطق فوي كيما كلمة honor اللي تنحات كلمة حرف الهاش وديريكتومون تقنيها بالا وي نو ذات a in in um, in English is a vowel هذيك علاش قبل الكلمة هذي نحطو ان ما نحطوش a ما نحطوش a اوكي جايز باهي فور اكزامبل they gave you here another word which is honest my mother is a honest woman no this is wrong guys this is wrong this is definitely wrong this word this sentence is correct so here my mother is an honest woman okay we put an instead of a because this uh this letter is silent letter it's a silent letter it doesn't make any sound the sound which is made in this word is a ah, and we know that a ah, is a vowel so automatically we're going to have an instead of a okay there is another exception the same to uh to the use of a similarly when the first letter of a word is a vowel but is pronounced with a consonant sound use a as in the sample sentence below she is a united states senator okay guys نفس الطريقة نيم مرة هذي للكلمات اللي يبدأ بفويل وفويل بتاعهم يتنطق كمان كونسون ما يتنطقش كيما الفويل عنا the United States of America United you see here you ما تنطقش آ كيما الفويل بتاعها ما تنطق يو ي دونك تعمل ساون تعمل فويس تولي كونسون دونك ديريكتومون قبلها ما عادش باش نحطو اي ما عادش باش نحطو ان هذي it's wrong it's definitely wrong شن ولي ونحطو A ok she is a United States senator ok guys this holds it true with acronyms and initials الاكرونيم هما لي لي and initials هما لي زبريفياسيون كيما تلقى LCD UK HR URL وإلا USA United States of America ok guys so we say an LCD a UK an HR a URL ok now guys I will stop here with the first uh, with the first part uh, of talking about the articles and I'm gonna make another video with which I'm going to um, continue to talk about the and an A especially when they become Uh, or when they uh, when they are before an adjective so please guys don't forget to subscribe to like this video and to share it with your friends or in Facebook 
and don't forget to wait for the uh, second part of this video for you to know exactly when shall we use an a and the thank you so so much guys for uh, following us and have a very nice day thank you so much